So today on Transformer Thursday, we have a bunch of brand new Transformer product to talk about, some exciting stuff that we've been waiting to see images of. One of them is a Transformers Takara Tomy Japanese campaign promotional item, and two of them are retail items we will be seeing in the West. And one of them we're probably going to be seeing, hopefully, at the next Transformer Hasbro Pulse live stream. So let's jump into that, break it down, and make sense of everything like we do here on the Transformer Slag podcast. And the first thing we're going to cover is the Takara Tommy Mall exclusive Awakening Weapon Clear Red Cheetor promotional item. So we've been seeing a lot of these with the Rise of the Beast movie, and especially in Japan, with a lot of different promotional items and bonus items. And we talked about here on the podcast the Awakening promotional campaign item of the Burning Plasma Blaster, which was a clear red repaint. And then later, the Awakening Burning Optimus Primal Toy, a clear red repaint with a lot of lineage and history with that one. Well, we're getting another clear, clear red repaint this time. And it's that of a repaint of our little Battlemaster Cheetor Transformer figure, the one that transforms into a weapon. And this doesn't surprise me because much like the original Siege Battlemasters that we got back in the day, and even going even more back to the mini cons, you know, having these small little simple transforming items uh, always lead to a whole bunch of repaints later on because they're low cost to make. And if you could do every color of the rainbow, you could do promo items, pack in items, all kinds of cool stuff like that. And we're probably going to see a lot more of these Beast Battle Masters in different colors in the future. So just stay tuned for that. But what we got here is we got a red repaint of Cheetor. Pretty simple, just clear red repaint in some areas. And how you could get this one essentially is you order from Takar Tommy Mole's website and you order one of the big expensive items, specifically the Ultimate Optimus Primal, the uh, Beast Power Bumblebee or Beast Power Optimus Prime. Those are our, what we call here the Beast Mode versions. So if you order one of those big expensive items and you do it before July 15th in Japan, uh, you will get this free little bonus red Cheetor to go with it. So just keep that in mind. If you want to pick one up and have a little, nice little, rare little exclusive Cheetor figure, I'm pretty sure we're going to see other repaints of this in the future. I'm pretty sure we'll get a Shadow Panther repaint, maybe be a little clever and do his Transmetal Deco on that also. But we're going to probably see more of this with the Rhinox and all the others too. So stay tuned for that. Now let's jump into our retail items. So this was one we were probably going to see for the first time during the Hasbro Pulse live stream, but a whole slew of high quality images of this popped up uh, from Filipino message boards, oddly enough, and then later on were from uh, auction websites in the Philippines. And we're going to be talking about the Transformers Legacy Evolution Leader Class Dreadwing, a uh, repaint with one new accessory of the former Legacy uh, Leader Class Skyquake. So we knew this was coming. We had listings as far back as seven months ago. Even if you didn't have the listings, you knew those repaints were coming sooner or later. This is a throwback to the old Transformers Prime character, giving people an opportunity to pick up, in my opinion, probably a better version of that character because that's a fantastic mold that it comes from with a lot of uh, baked-in fun for later on, let's put it that way. So what's different this time around from, let's say, the Skyquake version that came out just six months to a year prior uh, this one, from what I could tell, it just has a brand new gun. The sword looks the same. Don't be tricked by the face. The face sculpt is exactly the same. It's just the painting is so vastly different between the two of the Skyquake and this one that it looks like it's a new head sculpt, but it's the exact same head sculpt. So you just get a new weapon. And instead of it being a big chain gun that came with Skyquake, now you got a giant blaster. And the weapon is a different translucent color for the sword now. And that's pretty much about it. Otherwise, it's just matching the colors that are necessary for those two different characters from the Transformer Prime show. And considering, like, again, going back to the original Dreadwing Transformer Prime figures that were available, whether it be the smaller one or the larger one, not a cheap character to get. Even back then, he was pretty tough to find. And today, in the secondary market, it's not a cheap character to get. So to get a, in my opinion, a better mold um, from this one here, in the modern era, which will probably have a better distribution, hopefully. Uh, I'm all for that. Looks really great. And, that, and now after now we got these two. We got the two repaints from that. Where are we going next? Are we talking uh, UK Skyquake? Are we talking Machine War Starscream? Universe 1.0 King Atlas? Like, where are we going with that? 
And, uh, you know, because it has that baked in, you know, Predator UK gimmick kind of thing going on that works with the Legacy Evolution needle nose. So they, at some point they got to go in that direction and do something with that. So I'm really curious where we go now. Now that we got these two repaints out of the way that were expected 100% because of listings. The other ones we don't know. So we'll see. But it looks really good. It looks really good. Alt mode looks really good. Everything looks really nice. Not much I could really say because it's pretty much a straight up repaint with just a new accessory in a lot of ways. And if you're a big fan of Transformer Prime, you're probably very excited about this release from a monetary standpoint and a character display standpoint. And the last one we're talking about is also a little bit of a, a monetary kind of thing. And it's kind of a bit of a disappointment for people. But we talked about this uh, listing that we saw online of a Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Legacy Deluxe Class dying prowl that's literally the name that they put there it's probably not the official name but that's what we have right now and that's what we're going to be calling it and the belief was hey they're probably going to take that it really tough to get earthrise styled uh prowl mold that we got from the amazon exclusive two pack with iron hide that goes for stupid money today and uh, maybe they'll put it in a you know buzzworthy bumblebee pack and then we'll be able to get a cheaper version of that well that is the case. It is using the Earthrise mold, but they put uh, some battle damage on it. And it looks like it's a brand new sculpted piece of battle damage. It looks like there's battle damage to his chest and a brand new head sculpt. Uh, everything else looks more or less the same. So at least, you know, that's kind of good. So you still kind of get the classic Datsun and everything and not a more Cybertronian one that we got from the Siege line. But at the same time, it's a battle damage version. So it has that shot that he got in his chest from the 86 movie. And we have a expression of grief, if you will, <laughs> uh, followed by, I'm going to assume, maybe we'll get some blast effects for some glowing, smoking eyes and mouth later on. I don't know how this is going to be distributed. We know it's going to be part of Buzzworthy Bumblebee, but is it going to be in a two-pack? Is it going to have extra weapons and extra blast effects to add to this? We don't know. This is just a loan listing, all loan, on, an, on a uh, Filipino auction website. So we don't know the specific. It could be in a multi, in a two pack, a multi pack. We don't know. Usually, we have some kind of indication with EAN codes and stuff like that. But this one's been pretty vague otherwise. So stay tuned with that, and hopefully we'll learn more. But unfortunately, you'll if you want to get your minty nice, perfect prowl, you still have to go with that Amazon two pack for the time being. That could change in a couple of years, but as it stands right now, that seems to not be the case. And that's it more or less for the news, uh, at least for today. With the Transformer Thursday, there might be more stuff that will be popping up. I have a whole bunch of other stuff that we got to talk about. Got some amazing stuff in the mail from Hasbro directly. Uh, we'll probably talk about that on the Saturday Night Live stream this weekend. It's going to be a very busy week in the world of Transformers because of the Transformer Rise of the Beast movie debuting. I'll talk to you again real soon in the near future, and thanks for listening to the Transformer Slag podcast. <laughs>